The name of this video is Stop Explaining Yourself. Let me say it again, not because I think you're slow, but because I need to hear it myself. I've been guilty of this, trust me. Stop explaining yourself. I say that because when we start explaining ourselves to people, I believe it takes away our power. Because anytime I've ever explained myself to people, I've always felt like I was a kid again, trying to get myself out of trouble, trying to convince people to believe me. And so this is something that I continue to work on. You know, it's okay if we want to give people an explanation for our decisions, but you are not obligated to do so, especially not with your family and not with your friends. Now, it may be a different thing um, at work, but you can still retain more of your power even at work. So, for example, at work, uh, if your boss wants you to stay after, you don't necessarily have to tell that boss why you're, you're refusing to stay after. You can just say, no, I'm not able to do it. And whenever, anytime I've ever done that, it's made me feel more powerful versus I've always felt weak when I would say, oh, I can't do it. I'm so sorry, but I wish I could. And I got this going on and I got to pick up this. Other than that, I would be there for you. No, no, no. First off, nobody asked you that. If you're not scheduled to work overtime, you're not scheduled to be there on the weekend. You don't have to go into that because that is your personal time. You can totally feel guilt-free retaining that power saying, no, look, I, some things I'm in control of my life and I decide how things work. Now we're not in control of everything, but those things that you are in control on, we need to stand on that and say, look, I'm going to, this, this is me. This is my decision. And I don't need anybody else's approval. I totally think that, um, people over explain themselves because they want to have approval. And I've been guilty of this, that people that, um, thinking, well, wanting every Everybody to like you and uh, wanting people to be on your side and to understand you. Everybody is not going to always understand you. And so trust that for me because I'm 41 now and it's been a time where I tried to get people to understand me for the longest and I tell you it has not happened. I even learned that some people just try to be cantankerous just for no reason at all or just to play the devil's advocate just to get under your skin. So you can be explaining something to them and they'll try to act like, oh, they don't even know what you're talking about. They'll keep asking you all these crazy questions, trying to get you to further release all your power and energy to them. And you're just going on and on. And these people don't even, they don't even care. They're just trying to, you know, manipulate the situation. So, and also the thing is about the explaining, uh, I'm going to use an ex example from my own life. It's just like, you're not feeling confident when you're having to constantly tell people why you are doing something. So for instance, um, this, I was going to a church and I decided to stop going. And this is nothing against those people. And I had told myself that I was going to let a few, you or the women know, you know, why I wasn't going anymore. But what happened was, is that it started to annoy me because different people started asking me how come I wasn't going and why I was annoyed because I had already prepped myself and said, okay, I'm not going to really go into explaining because there's various reasons why I stopped going. It's really not just one. And it's kind of hard to get under people to understand, especially if they don't have the mindset that you have about the situation. So I went against what I knew what was best for me. So then I started getting mad at people for asking me. But truthfully, I shouldn't have been mad at them because that was on me to retain that power and say, look, you know, I'm no longer going to the church. Um, I don't want to go into why. And I should have just stayed with that. Because the thing is, is when we start telling people what's going on, a lot of times if they don't agree with us, then they start to feel a certain way about it. What I mean by is, look, let me ask you, be, be honest. Have you ever had somebody, you tell somebody why you don't want to do a thing anymore, then that person gets mad, they start to take offense. So for instance, if you tell somebody, oh, I, I'm no longer um, going to be a part of this club or whatever because it no longer meets my needs, then that person all, automatically sometimes is going to feel like, oh, well, are you saying that um, the people there are something wrong with them? So does that mean that person starts to think, well, maybe it's something wrong with them, that now you're upset with them. And so they're, and they're, they're starting to defend their organization, but you're like, look, I'm not coming for you. You asked me why I don't do A, B, and C anymore, and I'm trying to tell you, but then that person is taking it as an offense, but it's like, 
It's not about you. It's about me. Then you get some people when you tell them why you're not doing something else, they, they'll they listen for a minute, then they'll cut you off. Like, for instance, I told somebody why I wasn't going to the church anymore. Then I noticed it was two people talking. Then they cut me out the conversation and started talking amongst themselves, explaining why they were still going and wasn't going to let anybody turn them back from going. So it was like, it's not about like turning back. I'm not turning away from God. I'm turning away from your, your church from my personal reasons. But it's like, you know, people, they, they have whatever thoughts they have going on in their head. And if, it, if your answer does not fit into that box that they want you to fit in, then they're just like, oh, oh, well, you know, you're making the wrong mistake and you're not doing right, you know? So, and this is not just about church. This is just about uh, in anything, you know? And what I, what it is, is that people, um, I think we sometimes get in the habit of uh, telling other people what they should and should not do, but really how is it that other, how can we speak on what is best for other people? That's something that I had to humbly look, look at my life and say, Hey, I'm, I'm not qualified for t to tell people what they should do. Even in counsel in counseling, I try not to tell people, yes, this is right. What you decided to do. No, this is wrong. I may ask them, um, questions to, you know, to, so they can look at their own decision to, to come up with what's right for them and what's not right for them. But people are trying to tell you, no, you should keep going to this church or, or no, you should um, stay working at that job or no, you shouldn't start your own business. Th those same people don't even know what is best for them. You look at their, their lives and if you don't want what they, you if you don't want your life to be like their lives, then why are you listening to them? Why do you even care what they have to think um, or how they feel about what's going on in your life. So that's where it comes is just being able to trust yourself and say, this is what I'm going to do. And even knowing that as an adult, you can get to that place where you don't have to tell people anything. Like I could have just left the church and, um, didn't tell anybody. And if I did, that was totally within my right because I'm, I'm myself, I'm me, you know, I pay my own bills, nobody else does. And just the same for you, if you're not going to do do something again, you don't have to check in with people. That's something that you can do if you decide to. But then it's also not fair and it wasn't fair of me to have resentment against those other people because I decided to start justifying my reasons to them. It is okay as a grown woman or a grown man to sit down and say to tell somebody that's, you know, um, hey, you know, thanks for checking in, but that's quite personal and it's something that I don't want to discuss. And if they start going on about why they stayed and why they're still doing it and why they why they think whatever's best, you can just politely leave the conversation because really if you walk off, they're probably still gonna be talking to themselves because they just like to hear themselves talk. And some people just think that they know what's best for everybody else, but I tell you. You can be free and don't have to justify yourself to in, to anybody else. I tell you, you can even see it on, on the um, job. People telling their co-workers, uh, over explaining their life to their co-workers. If people saying, oh, well, why weren't you here this day and that day? It's totally okay to say, um, I, you know, it was personal reasons. You know, you will have people saying, oh, my husband did this and my kids did this and I wasn't there because this and this and that. All of that is not necessary. And so please help me out in the comments. You know, let me know what you think think about uh, this situation about over, I mean, about explaining yourself to others. Do you feel strong when you're telling people um, why you decided to do A, B, and C with your life as an adult? If you do, I'd like to know why. And also, have you ever felt weak when you're justifying yourself, telling people why you decided to do A, B, and C? As like I said, I think, and I really think it does go back to that wanting people to um, see you as being right, wanting to be liked by people, wanting them to see, you know, you don't want to appear that something is wrong with you or that something is wrong with your, um, with your decision making. All I have to say is, look, if you're, ha however old you are, you got here by a trusting trusting yourself or using whatever coping skills you have you did it you got this far so you can trust yourself to keep going
doing. These other people, you may think you, you're probably putting people on a pedestal thinking that they're somehow more qualified than you, somehow better, better than you, and that they got this thing of life figured out. People can seem like they got life figured out, but trust me, they don't have life figured out. Just as being a, a therapist, I go into people and I might think like, wow, this person is really, really beautiful or really handsome or whatever. And they have this great job. And these people still have problems. It might be problems with their kids, just problems with how they think about themselves that will truly blow your mind. So I just want to encourage you to say there's nothing wrong with you. You are an adult. Even if you're not an adult and you're watching this, you know, feel, you know, feel empowered to know that it's okay for you to make your own decisions and to not have everybody to back your decisions. Because I'm, tr trust me, those same people who they'll say they're upset with you because you made a decision that was different from what they thought, they are not coming to you for your um, approval with their decisions. Trust me on that. I've had people do that for me. They'll say, oh, you should have did this. Oh, I was mad at you because you did this and you didn't do that this, this way and that way. Those same people, they'll get married and won't ask your opinion about it. Okay. Those same people will have kids and will not ask your opinion. They will change a job and not ask your opinion. They will even do something probably that affects your life and they won't even ask your opinion and they couldn't care less. And if you try to get them to just justify their reasons, they would probably look at you and roll their eyes and say, oh, I'm, I'm grown. Okay. So these are the same people that you're, that you're trying to prove yourself to and to get them on your team so they can see that you're, you're okay. And you're cool and you're right. And you're smart and you're brilliant. And you're a great decision maker. Baby, forget that because these people are really not caring about you like that. These people are just looking to say what they're going to say. And if you fall for the okie doke, they're going to let you, let you go on down that little crazy path. So please and just understand, and I'm talking to me now. It is okay to tell people it is none of your business. I am grown. This is personal. This is something I'm not going to talk to you about. So again, this has been Stop Explaining Yourself. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe, like, and share this video. And please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say because I don't believe I'm 100% right on this topic. I believe I'm 98.9%, .9%, but you let me know what you think. Have a good one. Bye.